news. Okay, so my pro this presentation is about my pro project, which is called uh, the Our Favourite Places Big Photo Album. Um, the question I ask myself, and you may be asking yourself, is that what is the project about? And the obvious thing would be to say about dementia, which of course it is. But in many respects, it's about me trying to turn a really big negative that's happened in my life to a positive. We never know what's around the corner. And um, dementia, or the diagnosis of dementia, changes your life in an instant. It's in the sense that it doesn't change anything physically in that moment, but it changes everything about how you feel, what you may have planned, what changes you may need to make and what challenges you may have in the future. And those people who know of or have loved ones with dementia won't need telling how devastating the diagnosis is because it does literally change your life in that instance. And it's a horrible disease. It's one that slowly but surely, little by little, takes away the real person whose body it possesses. These are pictures of my wife, Kathy, and she was diagnosed in 2016. And by 2021, she changed significantly, as you can see by these images. However, fortunately for me, she managed to retain the beautiful smile. And that's been constant in our lives and a constant reminder of who she really is. Although the diagnosis was in 2016, on reflection, when I look back, yeah, there were some signs, um, some that we just didn't realise were the start of, uh, of the dementia. Um, and it's, it's, it's quite incredible how it sort of creeps up on, on you. Um, but when you do get that diagnosis, it is it's quite significant. So why this project? Well, it's about raising awareness of both dementia, but also the support that's available out there. And a few statistics here, which you may or may not be aware of, but one in four adults over 50 are in one way or another living with dementia, either have it themselves or know of someone or living with someone who has a dementia. And of course, as we're now living a lot longer, more and more people are likely to be uh, effective. And for me, it doesn't seem to be that there's as much research and as much resource put into finding either a solution or a cure as there are for some of the other life-threatening uh, diseases. And of course, people who go into care because of dementia, dementia may not necessarily get the financial support they need, unless it's classed as a clinical reason for going into care then dementia isn't covered in the care costs. And that can be quite significant for people. I became a carer and I didn't ever think I'd become a carer. Um, and I found it difficult to ask for help at the, in the early stages. I just felt it was my responsibility as a husband to do the right thing and to look after my wife, which of course I have done. Um, but it eventually became clear that I did need support. And it's, um, it's groups such as Mindscape and the Dementia Action Alliance and the, and the partners that they uh, associate with who are out there to provide support and help in all sorts of different ways. Um, and these organisations need help with funding. And so that's one of the reasons that I decided that I might be able to give something back and form and create this project. Um, my wife used to go to the dog days that have just been mentioned a few minutes ago. And these are a couple of pictures that I took there, which uh, I did um, each time we went along. And some of those photographs were used by the DAA in their newsletters. And it was a great activity, it got me out <clears throat> into a different environment. And more importantly, got Kathy out into a different environment. And she loved being with the, the people and it's a great activity. 
And the same thing about the memory cafes, the singing for the brain, uh, all of those activities that are there to help and support both the, the people who are suffering with dementia, but also their partners and carers. The project is also about Cathy and her life li living with the disease. Um, while she was able, which was until not long before she passed, that we would go out and about and um, visit lots and lots of places, including many of the local beauty spots. Um, I'm a keen amateur photographer, so for me it was great to get out and, and take some photographs. And Mallard's Pike was one of the locations that we went to on probably more occasions than any other. It was easy for Cathy to walk around Mallard's Pike, and it's a pleasant environment. You could have a drink in the cafe and so forth. And I must have taken literally hundreds and hundreds of pictures there, this being one of them. So how the project came about? Well, Cathy and I have been attending um, some monthly sessions with Mindscape for almost two years. Um, and of course, Mindscape worked closely with the uh, Forest of Dean Dementia Action Alliance. Um, and I suggested to them that maybe I could take a photograph for their clients of their favorite place. We had our favorite place. So maybe I could do the same for the clients. And there was about 15 of them. Um, so whether it be a beauty spot locally or a garden or a building uh, and put them all together into a, into a photo book. And, and, I, and I was happy to fund that and give it as a gift in the event um, um, Mindscape funded that. So in December uh, last year, we put together a photo book of uh, their favorite places and each of them were asked to give a little caption, a little statement as to why that place was special to them. And that was added into the book. So the book, that's the cover of the book. And then inside uh, were photographs that I'd taken of the people. Um, and some of the words that they used to describe why these places were special to them were quite heartwarming. Some of them were you know, really emotional, as well as you know, the simple descriptions of, of why a place is special to them. Um, and it seemed to be really well received. So I thought, well, how could I expand on this? How could this become something bigger? Uh, clearly, it wouldn't be really that easy for me to go out and photograph all the people that live in the Forest of Dean, um, as much as I might like to do that. But maybe there's another way of getting a big photo album of people's favorite places. So that's what I've created and that's what I've produced. So with help and support from a friend who's got web contacts, I had a website built, which is called Our Favorite Places, the big photo album. And it's very straightforward and simple in principle is that we encourage people to get out get a bit of activity, go for a walk, go for a stro stroll or a drive and a walk and take a photo of their favorite place, either you know, with their loved ones, with themselves in the picture, or just find a favorite place photograph from years ago. It could be a, a special holiday place or somewhere people like to visit on a regular basis. It's about making those memories and, and sharing them. And all that people need to do is to upload their photograph to the website. There's three simple steps. You take your picture or provide your picture, you upload the photograph, and then you can view it on the website and share that with your family and friends or anyone else that you want to share it with. One caveat is that you pay a small fee to don't, that becomes a donation that goes to Forest of Dean Action Alliance and that donation was three pounds. You can donate more if you want, but for three pounds, you get your photograph up there. And then when it's on the website, it populates the album that's um, slowly growing. You can see in the background of this image, there's lots of photographs already in there. Um, and when you click on a photograph, it enlarges and uh, reveals the, um, the caption and the explanation of why, in this example, a uh, lovely part of the Lake District is a favorite place for that person who's uploaded that picture. 
The fundraising, as I mentioned, goes to the Forest of Dean Dementia Action Alliance, and it helps them with their activities, provide more, provide more of the same. But the project is also much more than just taking a photograph. It's about raising awareness. The website has got links to a network of other support groups which are in our community. And it's helping raise funds for what I believe is a really worth, worthwhile cause. Anyone can take part. It's simple to do. Dementia has no boundaries. And most people know someone or of someone who has got dementia. So far, we've raised over 1,500 pounds. Obviously, I would like that to be more. This is one of the last photographs of one of my sons and Kathy on our last family holiday together uh, in Croatia, uh, which I've called a walk to remember. So please visit the website, upload your photo today, support the cause and help grow Kathy's legacy. As I said, there are links in the presentation which can be sent to you and uh, you can easily get onto the website and support the cause. So the say saying is that I'm in the big photo album, but are you? Okay, I just want to add final, one final thing. I decided to do this in the last couple of weeks. That If people, if you can't get out and take your own photograph at the moment, I'll do it. If you ask me to go out and tell me where you want the photograph to be taken of, uh, I'll go out and take that photograph as long as it's local. And all I ask is that there's a five pound donation for me doing that. And the photograph will get uploaded into the, uh, into the album. And again, the links will be in the chat box or on the presentation itself. Okay, that's me done. I'll stop.